Hey guys, it's uh, Joe Marie here and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a uh, delicious uh, pizza and uh, we will be using a strawberry uh, for toppings and arugula and a walnut uh, paste for our main ingredients. If you are just new to my uh, channel, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell uh, notification so that you'll be updated to all my videos. So I already have all my ingredients ready here. So we have here half kilo of flour. I have here 3 ml of water, lukewarm water. And uh, today we're, we're just using the instant yeast and we're gonna need a three teaspoon of that and uh, I have here some salt we need the one we need that three four teaspoon of salt and we need one teaspoon of sugar and we need the uh, three ta tablespoon of uh, olive oil So three port uh, teaspoon of uh, salt. Next, we need uh, three teaspoon of uh, our instant uh, yeast. And we need one teaspoon of uh, sugar. What we're gonna need is we're just going to uh, combine all of our dry ingredients. Then we need uh, the water. It's uh, time to put our uh, olive oil, just three tablespoons. Now that uh, our dough is resting, we're going to make our walnut uh, based sauce. So right here I have uh, one cup of walnut and uh, we're going to add just uh, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil and uh, I have here honey, just like about two tablespoons. And instead of uh, using uh, brown sugar, I'll be using the agave syrup. Just about two tablespoons. So I'll be using my nutri bullet.
where you go, we're going to use uh, cream cheese. It's gonna be really, really good. So we're just gonna spread it all over our pizza. And uh, we're just uh, going to use some of um, our blue cheese here. And then I'll be using a grana padano after um, after we cook the pizza just a sprinkle on top and we need to shave it and then I'll be using the arugula one of my favorite and uh, I'll be using the strawberry we're just gonna use like maybe six or eight Pizza has its own uh, unique flavor. The caramel sauce, the strawberry, the, uh, the balsamic uh, vinegar reduction, and uh, the cheese, the blue cheese, the grana padano, the uh, arugula. It's just amazing. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really delicious. And uh, this is actually uh, my uh, um, own recipe that I uh, developed and um, this pizza is more on like a summer kind of pizza thing so I can't wait and then we're gonna shave some grana padano this one is really really good it's expensive but uh, for sure your family will enjoy it so we're just gonna shave it like that. According to uh, thickness or how big uh, you want for your uh, shaped grana padano. There. So for our next uh, pizza, we're gonna make um, uh, prosciutto uh, toppings and arugula with tomato on it. So we'll be uh, making a fresh tomato sauce. And I have here uh, some tomato from uh, my garden this year. And uh, I uh, normally uh, make my own uh, pizza sauce. Uh, this uh, tomato is really good. It's 100% uh, organic from my uh, garden. We're just gonna put uh, everything together. Uh, put a pinch of salt and olive oil. And uh, normally I have um, basil habit on my garden every year, but now I don't have. I don't have it, so I'll be using the dry uh, sweet basil for now. This thing right here is really handy and I like it um, when I uh, am uh, making my smoothie to blend uh, some stuff, something like that.
So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. If you want to use more than what I'm doing for your cream cheese, that's uh, fine. Some people like a lot of cream cheese in it. And then I'll be uh, putting just enough of uh, blue cheese. Some people doesn't like blue cheese, but um, for me, I like all kinds of cheese. And then there you go, and there, and then we're we're uh, good to go. We're going to cook it like halfway, and then pull it out. After that. We're going to put the uh, walnut paste and uh, bake it again. So for our next pizza. We, go, we are going to uh, fully bake it and then we're going to put the uh, prosciutto and arugula and uh, some fresh delicious tomato so we're good to go we're going to bake uh, both our pizza so we're almost done for our strawberry pizza So we need to we need to pull it out if it's like halfway uh, cooked, and then we're going to put our walnut paste. Oh, look at that! It's really really good.
just gonna distribute it all over and then we're going to uh, bake it again all the way until it's done so as you can see it's th this side so the crust are a little bit uh, brown so yeah cream cheese and walnut paste and blue cheese hmm That's really good. So we're gonna put it back again. Ooh, so that's our uh, first pizza. So that is just uh, the pizza sauce in our uh, Grana Padano. What we're gonna do is we put uh, some prosciutto on it. Just put uh, some uh, layers. some prosciutto lovers and maybe one more but don't put a lot because this one is uh, a little bit salty so we're gonna cut it first Lastly, we, we're going to uh, put Grana Padano. I love Grana Padano, so I'll put a lot of it. really simple it's really delicious and uh, it's like uh, you're you're having an Italian pizza on your own comfort at home okay so we're going to try it Mm. 
It's really good. Mm. The prosciutto and the fresh tomato and the arugula is perfect. So there you go, our walnut pizza. And we're gonna do our toppings. It's nice and perfectly cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut it first. Oh, you can see, you can hear it's really really crispy. Now we're going to put uh, the arugula on top of it, not a lot, just enough to cover almost the, re uh, the whole pizza. And then we're going to uh, put our strawberry. with uh, almonds we're going to put our shape uh, granite padano Lastly, we're going to uh, put our balsamic glaze on top of it. So I made this uh, balsamic glaze. There you go guys. I am so excited. Okay. Let's try it. Mm. It's really good. The taste of it is perfect. Ah. Just like I am eating a five-star pizza right now. Mm. Mm. It's it's really good. You must try this recipe, guys. It's super super easy. It's a little bit expensive, but I'm. I'm pretty sure your family will gonna like it they are hundred uh, percent gonna love it So there you go guys, if you like uh, my recipe for uh, this uh, two really really delicious pizza, I'll put all the ingredients on the uh, comment below and uh, on that uh, description uh, section and you guys can uh, check it out and uh, you can try it uh, on your own. And 
until next time guys hope you liked uh, this video and uh, don't forget uh, to uh, leave your comment as well until next time take care and keep safe everyone bye